Hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you like how you can create your NFT gallery DA in you can say less than two minutes. Just you need to run some commands and it will automatically create your NFT gallery. Okay, so let's get started. First you need to type Alchemy Web3 in your Google search. Then you can click on the first link. It will redirect to your Alchemy website. Then you need to create your account and after that you need to sign in. To get the API key okay so here is the dashboard so you need to just click on this create app then you can give it any name like I'm giving web3 nft gallery okay so after that you can give any description then you need to choose the chain I'm choosing this ethereum and many other chains are available you can choose anyone then you can choose the test network or any main network Okay, so after that you need to create app and to click on that button. So I have already created so many apps. So you can click on this view key and then you will get this API key. Just copy this API key. Then go to your Visual Studio code. Here I have already created one, uh, you can say empty folder. Inside this folder, I will uh, create this web app web3 the app okay just need to type this command npx create web3 the app latest address latest then nft explorer then hit enter okay so now it will load and you need to type this your nft the app name you can give any name then hit enter now you can choose any uh, chain i will be choosing the ethereum chain now you can choose whether you have account or not in alchemy so i already have an account now you need to copy this api key okay so just paste this api key and hit enter and now it will create automatically the source code of this nft gallery d app in less than two minutes Okay, so now just wait for some couple of minutes or you can say second, now here you go, so it has been completed now you can just change the directory of this source code and after that you need to type npm run the app to run the server in localhost Okay After that you need to just wait for some couple of seconds let this uh, the app load in the localhost and then I will show you Okay, so wait for some more couple of seconds. Okay, so it is running in local load 3000. Okay, so I'm running my local of 3000. Just wait for some couple of seconds. Okay, so here is a small error in the okay, this haven't loaded in the local host 3000. We need to fix this error in this uh, style folder inside this style folder and in this CSS file okay so I will fix this error we need to just give a bracket and bracket okay great yes uh, successfully yeah great it is loaded now I will just connect my uh, Metamax. Yes, I have connected my Metamax. Now you can choose any chain. Okay, so here it is showing this default wallet. I will be choosing my wallet with the collection. Okay, so I have already connected my wallet. Now I will choose the chain in which my all the NFTs containing in this wallet address, or you can say the account. Basically, in this account, I don't have any uh, NFTs with this respected blockchain. So, the chain you having all your NFTs, you can just paste that account address in this uh, section, search bar, and just hit enter. I uh, You can uh, hit this search button. Let me just choose this polygon, uh, you can say, test network, Mumbai test network and choose any defined account let me check 
whether I have any NFTs in Define account or not. Basically, if you have any NFTs in any wallet, it will show up over this section. As I don't have any NFTs in all of these accounts, so it is showing no NFT. But in your case, it will show up all the NFTs. Okay, so I don't have any NFTs in any of these chains with this account. So make sure you have any. Okay, so this is the source code. Here yeah, you can check it out. Like how these source codes have been generated. You can just see all the source code files and get an idea. If you are a beginner, it will help you to learn uh, to know all these things inside this source code. How these things work. It is. Okay. So, hope you like this video and till then, wait for my next tutorial.